Dear students, I am Professor Hatim Gamal. We continue our lecture about the normal childbirth. And this part, in this fourth part of lecture, we discuss the control of pain during labor. At the end of uh, this uh, part of lecture, everyone should know how to control the pain during labor. We have several ways to control the pain during labor. We have the non-pharmacological method and the pharmacological methods. The non-pharmacological methods, techniques to reduce the painful stimuli, techniques to that activate the peripheral sensory receptors, and techniques that enhance the sending inhibitory pathways. In pharmacological methods, we have systemic agents, inhalational agents, and regional analgesic. These figures shows the ways of the non-pharmacological methods, techniques to reduce painful stimuli, maternal movement, and the position change together with counter pressure. Non-pharmacological methods, techniques that activate the peripheral sensory receptors includes superficial heat and the cold, water immersion, touch and the massage, acupuncture, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, parasacral intradermal injection of estrile water. And in this photo, we show the delivery underwater or immersion underwater. This represents non-pharmacological method of pain control. Techniques that enhance the distinct inhibitory pathways, attention and focusing and distraction, hypnosis, music, and audio analgesia. The pharmacologic pain control, we have systemic agents. The most important are the narcotics. Pain relief is reasonable with narcotics but it can cross the placenta, causing respiratory distress to the baby. Intravenous or intramuscular pethidin, 50 milligram, provides better relief than intramuscular route. Narcotic antagonist naloxone should be available to be given to the baby if needed for respiratory depression. We can use sedatives and tranquilizers, for example, in phenothiazides, or it beans with the beans. Inhalational analgesia include the nitrous oxide and include the methoxyfluorine and the isoflurane. Prevention of aspiration of the gastric contents, Mendelssohn syndrome, for the use of the inhalational analgesia, the patient must be fasting for six hours, use of the antacids, cuff the endotracheal tube, tilting the patient to one side avoid fundal pressure during second stage of labor. Regional analgesia, we have the epidural analgesia, caudal block, paracervical block, the nerve block, and the spinal analgesia, and no way match the epidural analgesia. Here, this figure represents the sites of regional analgesia, including the epidural and the caudal analgesia and the spinal block. Epidural analgesia, best available pain relief during the first stage of labor. Timing is very important as early epidural will lead to prolonged latent phase with increased risk of operative delivery and cesarean section. May be administrated by bum or intermittently requires preloading with intravenous fluids to avoid hypotension, which is a common side effect of the epidural analgesia. Here is the site of the epidural analgesia. We inject our drug above the dura. We didn't penetrate the dura. The difference of the spinal and the epidural is that penetration of the dura. Thank you.